Our amazing planet Earth is restless, dynamic, and always changing. The most dynamic and explosive landforms are the volcanoes. Volcanoes eject molten rock, thick ash and gases high into the atmosphere, causing destruction at times. However, volcanoes are very essential for life on our planet. They build up the Earth's surface once the lava flows out and cools off. They make land that we all live on. Named after the Roman god of fire, Vulcan, there are more than 1,500 active volcanoes. Volcanoes can sleep, be dangerously active, or simply go extinct. I like the active ones, and so today I'm taking you to an active volcano called the White Island Volcano, located in North Island, New Zealand. Let us first understand what volcanoes are. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust from which lava, ash and hot gases are ejected during an eruption. The Earth's crust or its outermost layer is made up of plates that are always moving. To give a simple explanation, we can say that when these plates come together or pull apart, volcanic eruptions take place. Magma or molten rock comes out as a result. Once it's out, it is called as lava. volcano is active if it is erupting lava or releasing gas. A volcano is dormant if it has not erupted for a long time but could erupt again in the future. Once a volcano has been dormant for more than 10,000 years, it's called an extinct volcano. Fakari or White Island is an active volcano situated in the Bay of Plenty. White Island has been continuously letting out smoke since it was discovered by the great Captain Cook in 1769. He called it White Island after seeing the white cloud of gases erupting from the island. He never saw the volcano as he did not visit the island. Unlike Captain Cook, I'm very excited to visit the White Island. tried. I finally got to the island. A beautiful bird was there to receive me. I 
I was told that looking into this stunning crater lake was a breathtaking experience and that is where I was heading. The view around was extremely beautiful but the air did not smell good. That is because of the sulphur in the atmosphere. To keep myself from feeling giddy, I had to pop a candy in my mouth. Along the way to the crater lake, I encountered seven mud pools. These were boiling over 100 degrees. I kept staring at them, wondering what would happen if something fell inside these extremely hot pools. I never imagined the view around a volcano would be so serene and beautiful. Somebody enjoying an aerial view of the volcano from a helicopter. Guess what? I have crossed the midway point and can already see the crater lake behind me. The water flowing down a thin stream did not taste good at all. But when I kept a coin along the water's path, all the dirt in the coin disappeared. This is because of the powerful chemicals in the water. Just look at how clean the coin is. You know what? If you have to live in this island, you have to brush your teeth 20 times a day so that the sulphur doesn't turn them into black teeth. After about 30 minutes of walking, I finally made it to the crater lake. What I saw there was amazingly beautiful. You can see the activity in the crater. The steam that is going up is about 1000 degrees. Standing at the rim of the crater, I could see that the most dangerous part of an active volcano was full of beauty, nature's beauty. White Island last erupted as recently as 2013, making it an interesting place of study for scientists. The smell of sulphur is very strong and it is very difficult to breathe near the crater lake. Thankfully, I had a mask to wear on. I never imagined seeing an active volcano from its rim and I will never ever forget this experience at White Island. It could erupt any time now without any warning. Mother Nature has gifted us with beauty of all kinds and it's our responsibility to take care of our planet. Now let me show you how greedy we humans are. Long ago, a factory was set up on this island for mining sulphur. A strong mud flow from the volcano killed all the workers in the year 1914 and the factory was abandoned forever. A cat named Peter is believed to have survived the incident. Pleasant 
surprised to see some vegetation on the island. Over the years, the forest in the island has been completely destroyed by the constant volcanic activity. To name that mountain, I would name it Mount Iron because it's full, filled with iron rock. The rocks at White Island are rich in iron. Volcanoes like White Island have made land for humans to live on. We need to protect such islands. Let us all take a vow to stop mines and factories that are set up by destroying nature. Every time we trouble Mother Nature, she will not forget to teach us a lesson. Music